G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Today we're cooking pork spare ribs. We got a bit of a surprise for you, so how about you go give those knives a good sharpen and we'll jump right in. So what we got are three fairly large pork spare ribs. You're gonna wanna trim them down. When you're trimming, you wanna get a square, even shape, scoring the inside of the ribs, just straight across the bone. This is going to help those bones protrude out after they're finished cooking and the fat's fully rendered. Yeah, bloody hell, looking delicious. So we're going to put mustard here as a binder. Just American yellow mustard's fine. And we're putting on two coats. An undercoat, which is mostly a paprika based rub. This is going to hold the colour of the ribs. And then on top we've got a salt, pepper, garlic blend, a bit of sugar in there. This is your caramelization and main flavor profile for the ribs. Yeah, go on, give us a wave. And we promised you something special, and that's exactly what we're gonna do here. We got two smokers side by side. Weber Smoky Mountain and a Weber Smoke Fire. We're gonna cook the same ribs the same way with the same smoking wood, but on two separate Weber grills. And this is going to show you definitively which smokes pork ribs better and which tastes better. So stick around for a blind taste test at the end of the video. And you'll find out which one gets our seal of approval. One thing that's worth mentioning right here is you can see the smoke fire. So simple to set up, so easy to get going. So if you can't be bothered with your chimneys or your charcoal management for the Weber Smoky Mountain, Go a pallet grill for a no fuss barbecue approach. We've got both these barbecues fully lit now. It's just a matter of getting them up to the right temperature. And we're smoking with cherry wood chunks in the Weber Smoky Mountain and cherry pellets in the smoke fire. Yeah, these ribs really want to get cooked. The rubber's nice and set, let's get smoking. Starting with the smoke fire, goes in plenty of room. So you're not going to be restricted on one, two or half a dozen ribs. You see plenty of smoke as well which is going to be great for that initial absorption and a great smoky flavour. Over to the Smoky Mountain now and we've got everything going. A little bit of dirty smoke there from the wood chunks but that will be fine. So you don't have as much space on the top rack here for the ribs and this is where you can use hooks or other shelves just to expand the amount of rack space you've got. Target temperature for these is 125 Celsius, leaving them for about an hour before they get a spritz. Let's check the temps. <laughs> Opening up for the first time on the smoke fire, we can see a lovely red color, and that's that undercoat of rub. We're applying a raspberry vinegar spritz to this, a little bit different to your traditional apple cider vinegar, coming along nicely. Now over to the Weber Smoky Mountain, and these are coming along great. Just a quick spritz here. For a sauce, we're going with the Sweet Heat Red Sauce. We're applying the sauce first to the smoke fire. And then over to the Weber Smoky Mountain. This will be the last step before we get these ribs off the smoker. After a four and a half hour cook time, these ribs are well and truly done. So they're probing at the right internal temperature and the bark is looking fantastic. Nice caramelization, good color. The Weber Smoky Mountain is definitely impressing us straight off the bat. Good amount of bend and flex in the ribs as well. You want to see that when you're pulling them off. Now over to the smoke fire to see how these have gone and they are looking fantastic and nice brilliant color coming out. Bit of purple, bit of red. It's that vibrancy that's just saying, eat me, I'm a delicious rib. Now there can only be one winner, so we will be judging these based on which tastes the best and trying to guess which one was the smoke fire and which one was the smoky mountain. Let's see how we go. This is delicious, though. We're gonna have to have this next one. Oh. 100%. Which one tastes better? Smoky Mountain. Bit drier. Do you get that? 
My second one. Mm -hmm. Final decision. Plate number one, went for Smoky Mountain. Plate number two, Smoke Bite. And I like the first plate more for Smoky Mountain. Yeah, I agree with Gus. Were we right? Yeah. I mean, they're both good. These are more tender. Mm. About wraps it up here, folks. So let us know in the comments below which ribs did you like better and how do you like to cook them. Cheers.